all right so what is going on today youtube all right so these are going to be my uh thoughts on the ban list that we just got dropped that happened yesterday and i know um i i am very much late but i don't like to do live reactions because i feel like it's phony because i'm pretty sure everybody who's seen like when heard about the list they just immediately went to go check the list out and then made a video so i, I don't do live reactions I, I i tend to wait let all the you know hype die down and then give my thoughts after thinking for a minute because i feel like that's better than just acting off of you know hype and excitement and then yeah so on to the list what we're going to do and i'm going to skim over it real quick and then i'm going to you know look at my list that, that i came up with in my predictions and then we're going to talk about what i like about the list what cards i think what i think the cards are going to do or how good they are and stuff like that so without further ado let's go ahead and start so we're going to start with the ban list and if, i mean the ban section if you guys have not seen this or heard about the ban list well here you go uh, that's just it just I might as well do it you know some people might have not seen it this might be the first video they come across so we start off dynamite knight the true draco fighter grand soil um lithogasm the the true king um dinglon digusting emerald brabble and Dryden. those are your forbidding cards uh on for the limited you have ignis heat miscellaneous source uh zodiac rap here uh, Dark Hole, Gateway of the Six, Kaiju Slumber, and True King's Return for the limited. And for the semi limited, we have Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Car Trooper, Luster Pendulum, The Draco Slayer, Bryonic, Hyper Librarian, Brain Control, Burial from Different Dimension, El Shadow Fusion, Preparation of Rights. Those are your semi limited. And for the unlimited, you have The Breeze Dragon, Honest, Rescue Cat, Rescue Rabbit, Summoner Monk, Witch of the Black Forest, Charger Light Brigade, Dragon's Ravine, and Wavering Eyes. All right, so that's pretty much the whole list. So let's go over it. All right, so for my band section, I had Barrage, Maxi, Dryden, or Broadbull, or both, uh, or neither. So um, we got two right, I guess. Semi right. Well, we give, give that a 50 50. We do have Broadbull and Dryden band. I mean, everybody with, you know, any eyes can see this coming this these could i mean this obviously was the best deck this whole damn year so those definitely needed to get hit um i'm glad they did both so dynamite knight to true draco fighter a lot of people are saying why um the reason why is because this is the only lower one i guess the tribute summon ones besides masterpiece and the other ones that activate when they get their card their card can still activate like when they get the trap when he gets the trap the trap still activates like that turn so that means you got to deal with two things instead of just you know okay well you know you activate it and you search a spell card sure you can't use it until next turn you activate it, search a monster sure unless you bring the monster out you can't use it until next turn this motherfucker gives you either a reborn or a fucking wall of reveal wait what is it what is it re no it's not wall of reveal like of what is it called that mirror card it's a mirror card that halves all the like half everything on the board all your opponent's monster I forgot what it's called. Mirror wall. There you go. You either get a mirror wall that can also be used for, I mean, can also tribute some, I mean, gives you an additional tribute on your opponent's turn and also pops a monster or you can get a monster reborn that does the exact same thing. That's a problem. At first, I didn't think it was really that big of a problem, but hey, Konami knows what they're doing and Konami hit, you know, Konami knows what they're doing. So they know exactly what to hit. That's what I meant to say, because I remember back when Necros first got a hit. I think a lot of people wanted Unicorn to one, and then like they put Shirit, it, they banned Shirit. It. People was like, "Oh, the deck is still good and shit." And then they found out that hey, Shirit was the heart and soul of the deck. Um, so, Dynamite Knight is pretty much the engine of the deck. I would say possibly the heart and soul. Um, Grand Soil getting banned. I is just evolved in a lot of OT uh, FTKs. I believe it's the only Elemental Lord that is not once returned. So there's that. And it's a monster reborn so just think about a monster reborn that's not once per turn that you know triggers every time it's summoned yeah uh true king little uh little sadam or sagam whatever you want to call it uh damn that's 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 crazy i didn't feel like that one was going to get hit i felt like if they just hit the babies like the baby source not the new one but the old one ban that this would be an okay card um but hey shit it is a it's hard out here for konami i guess uh ding long should have just eradicated it made it only for yang zings 
but they didn't and that's what happens when you make a generic when it's summoned you search when it leaves you replace itself it's also a tuner and it changes levels that's 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 just really good Dicuster emerald um i'm guessing we're getting a new normal link monster because i i don't understand why emerald's banned i feel like emerald's good you could have put it to one that that would have been wait was it already no no it wasn't it wasn't one was it at one no i don't think it was at one yeah you just put it to one that would have been good enough like lavava chain put it to one there's no need to ban it but hey they're both on here man took it took them but it took took that gusto emerald a minute but it finally got on there um we, we already talked about the both uh broad bulls and dryden okay so for my limited list what i had was uh let's see uh let me see real quick i'll open up the list again phone done closed on me uh we had gofu terraforming di diagram snow uh and something happening to the kaijus and something zombie related uh and witch of the back force and masterpiece so if we go to the limited list we see that ignis got hit uh miscellaneous source rap pier uh dark hole gateway kaiju slumber and true king's return so um the only thing that really got touched was uh, like i said something kaiju related was going to get hit and i felt like they were going to put all the kaijus to one but they just put slumber to one so i guess um and uh, for the limitless, this one only searches spells. I didn't understand why they did that. Miscellaneous source is very good. The fact that you can activate both effects in one turn is just crazy. Rap here, sure, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, Darko going to one and Slumber going to one. I feel like they're trying to either say, hey, stop with all the destruction, or we're going to give you, you know, we're going to give you a different type of destruction. So play that. Gateway of the Six coming back, sure, and um, True King's Return, uh, very good card. It's a monster reborn every turn, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Terraforming didn't get hit. Gofu is still at three. Diagram is still at three. Snow is still at three, um, and they didn't touch nothing zombie related, so that that's good for me. But Brilliant Fusion didn't get touched, folks. There's a lot of cards that did not get touched on here. Uh, so that may be a problem. Brain Fusion may double in price. Uh, Gofu, that's a one card link. So um, yeah, that's that's crazy. Terraforming is still at three. That is gonna be a very big problem. Diagram, still at three. You know what, I'm gonna tell you guys a little, uh, a little thing. Uh, I, I, I've, for like the last two weeks, I, I told myself, I kept saying, diagram go down to like 20 bucks so like goes going down to 30 then it went down to 25 then it was going like to 20 i was like you know what i should probably pick up three of these things because if this doesn't get hit some you know these are going to jump up everybody i told that to no don't do it it's going to get hit conventional wisdom would tell you you know it would, it would lean towards it's getting hit nope didn't get hit probably should have just did it anyways man but hey fuck that kind of hurt now they're 50 uh all too semi-limited i had uh oh no and i had witch of the black before us which got you know unlimited so i mean that was very unprecedented i wouldn't suspect uh konami to just forbidden and then unlimit something but on to the semi-limited for me i had dandelion quiff or scout mathematician book of wound and i got one right i got the mathematician right I had no reason to really be on the list um i felt like they were going to put scout up to two because hey it's not doing anything quick force aren't doing a damn thing anywhere i felt like they were going to put it up but they did it dandelion i felt like that was going to go to two because of links book of moon going to two would have been amazing because i mean even though it stopped the link from being summoned it's just a very good card it's a very good neg one um but they didn't only did the mathematician so what they did do was put bls to two and that's i, I don't understand why people really think this card is just not good this card was literally, I believe, in every meta it could possibly play in. If you played a light and dark, li look, listen, listen to this, folks. In Dino Rabbit, where the only light and darks were Effect Veiler and Tour Guide, they played this fucking card. Literally Effect Veiler and Tour Guide. And they played this card. <clears throat> I'm playing it. I might have to play me some, you know, Chaos. I'm, I'm definitely going to play Chaos Dragons. I, I, I've been doing that. I mean, that deck is so fucking fun to play. Go check out my Monday's video if you guys want to see something. But yeah, man, the Chaos Dragons are very fun to play. Um, I, I enjoy it, man. BLS going to two is a problem. And I think people are going to realize that halfway 
Dude, I think the first week people are gonna just get hit with so many BLSs. They're gonna be like, why the fuck is this shit at too? I don't understand. Um, Luster Pendulum, sure, just give them a little boost. That's fine. Uh, we already talked about Mathematician. Doesn't really do anything. Brio and TG Hyper Liberian. Uh, I have a little, I, I have a video coming out. I don't know when, probably in the next week. But uh, I got some combos, and I think it might involve Hyper Liberian since it went to two. Um, brain control, I guess you could win to three. It literally could have went to ten. No matter play it. Uh, burial from different dimension. Thank, thank you, Konami. I really appreciate that. Uh, and preparation of rights. So that's just a boost to zombies everywhere. Um, that's good for me. That's good for anybody playing zombies, and it's hopefully it's good for you guys who you know enjoy zombies. Because this card, man, I've been waiting for it to go up. Ooh, I've been waiting for it to go up, man. I, I'm just so excited. Um, this kind of, you know, kind of gives me a couple of foreshadowing, uh, not, what, what the fuck did I just say? This makes me think that, um, we're going to be getting something in the, the next set for Vindreds or whenever we get the next support that is going to have something to do with banishing and it's going to possibly be a level seven ritual monster. So I'm thinking maybe the ritual monster when it's sent to the graveyard that, um, it can add a banish uh, probably vanish ritual spell a banish ritual spell from uh, a banish or a um, ritual spell in your graveyard to your hand hopefully it says that because that'd be very good and we definitely need that because i never i didn't play preparation right because i didn't like it because i mean i have just had bad luck with ritual spells either i draw two or like my shit gets like deburred and it hurts so fucking bad <laughs> i got deburred like 10 times over the past week but yeah, preparation rights is going to good and the going to two is very good for the deck. Burial going for two is very good. So that means we're definitely going to be getting some support. And it has something to do with banishing, and obviously it's going to be another ritual monster. So I'm pretty sure the name is going to be Revan Dread Slayer Dash something. So Yeah, probably like upgraded. Like like uh wait, shit. There's something with Resident Evil. It's gonna be like whatever. I forgot what the first one's based off of, but yeah. Uh, El Shaddai Fusion going to 2 doesn't really do anything because Construct is still banned uh, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to get unbanned uh, until this goes back down to 1 um, <clears throat> on for the unlimited list uh, I didn't have one I just said you know there's a whole shitload of cards that can unlimited because I mean unlimit because there's literally just sitting on a list and like since you have you know since you have uh, I guess your own rule of whenever you want to release a list release a list there's literally you can literally unlimit every every that you can unlimit everything and see what happens and then ban them like the next week so i mean literally this doesn't really matter but um they do have a lot of good cards debris dragon going to three sure nobody's playing nobody's playing anything debris related on is going to three it, and bls at two come on guys y'all just y'all asking for otks rescue cat going to three um i'm surprised nobody actually tested this out i mean only thing it does different is that you negate the effects Who's playing double Arabella? Nobody. Play the card. Rescue Rabbit. Going to three, I feel like that's a problem. Probably should have put it to two first. Rescue Rabbit gets two normals. Royal Chalice is a normal that their whole play starts off with a normal. This card is definitely going to be good. Summoner Monk to three, sure. Witch of the Black Forest. This card is good. Sagan and Witch is very is still very good. And especially with Zodiacs out, it'll probably be a slower format until Spirals get here. This this, this 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 card is pretty good. <clears throat> Charge of Light Brigade, psh, good. Like Dragons Ravine. I mean, damn. I mean, finally, finally, fucking Dragoonities get the third Ravine back. Finally, uh, Charge of Light Brigade, man. This makes me just want to play some Light Sworn Zombies. Uh, and Waver and I is going to three is is is, is bullshit. Can I mean, come on. It's like take this shit off. Nobody. I hate this card. This card is so stupid. But we don't have plus fire and shit like that. So. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's not as worse as it was. But come to think about it, pendulums have a plus fire. I think it's Irish magician. It triggers whenever it dies, which is stupid. So yeah, and it's not worth burning. So yeah, that was the list. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know you guys' thoughts on the video. What do you like about the ban list? What did you didn't like? What did you wish was hit? Let me know your thoughts. What decks do you think are going to be good? I feel like World Chalice is going to be good until the next set. 
and then Spyro is going to come out and take over everything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you would like to support the channel, all I ask is for you guys to click and add it. That'll be enough for me. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.